In today's video, I'm going to revisit the five stages of carnivore diet. And the truth is, so much of what we've learned in this world is completely the opposite from reality. Stage two, stage three, stage four, stage five is the hardest stage for a lot of people. And that is, now I have a long-term why, and you need to think about your long-term why. Humans should be living to be 120, we're dying in our 70s. Dementia, Alzheimer's should be non-existent. They're from the foods we're eating. Our food system is so messed up. And you need to understand this if you take nothing else away from this video, you cannot In today's video, I'm going to revisit the five stages of carnivore diet. It was a very popular video I did before, but I've got some changes and some updates to it. And it was a very popular video. People wanted to hear more and more thoughts on it. So let's just go. We're gonna do one cut. No edits because I'm a carnivore and carnivores don't need to edit. You don't need to edit when you tell the truth and you tell the story. So let's go the five stages of carnivore diet, otherwise known as the proper human diet. For those of you new to my channel, I am down well over a hundred pounds since my heaviest. I lost most of that on carnivore, some of it on keto throughout the years. More importantly than that, I've overcome a lifelong battle with depression and anxiety. I was also diagnosed with sleep apnea. I had a CPAP machine. I was also diagnosed with IBS. I had a mini stroke five years ago. I had arthritis in my lower back, in my elbows, in my foot so bad, I was going around on a mobility scooter. I was an absolute mess and the carnivore diet has literally changed my life forever. And I thought it was insane when I first heard about it. Well, I'm just gonna eat meat, that's crazy, but I no longer think I'm insane. I think humanity in general on the standard American diet is absolutely insane. People are so sick right now and getting sicker and sicker. Cancer rates are skyrocketing. Heart disease is the number one killer. And people are worried about what I'm eating. Look at what's going on in the world out there right now. It's, it's just insanity. I'm doing a documentary called Healing Humanity, The Power of a Proper Human Diet where we're following real individuals over the course of a year that are undergoing a proper human diet to overcome obesity, type two diabetes, fertility issues, depression, anxiety, and so on. So let's jump right into it. Five stages of carnivore diet. I didn't know there were five stages before I did this video. I don't know if I've heard the other good doctors talk about all of these stages, maybe little parts and pieces, but the very first stage of carnivore is the hardest for most people. And this is something I struggle with because I'm getting so many comments on my carnivore videos. And oftentimes it's people that they want me to like hold their hand or they want me to make the decision for them or do it for them. The hardest part of doing carnivore is starting and just doing it and being brave and deciding I'm gonna be the captain of my own ship, I'm gonna take control of my life and I'm gonna do this crazy drastic thing that goes against the grain, it goes against everything I've ever heard in this world. You can't eat vegetables, what? You only eat meat, isn't that gonna clog your arteries? What about fiber and you have all these crazy questions? The beauty of it though is all of your crazy questions have already been asked and answered over and over again, I can promise you that and you have a phone, you have the internet, you have access to all of this information for free. We're not selling you anything. Go watch Dr. Barry's videos on how to start carnivore diet. If you're worried about fiber, go watch Dr. Chafee's video on fiber. If you're worried about it's gonna clog your arteries, go watch heart surgeon Dr. Philip Ovadia talk about cholesterol and heart disease. And by the way, all of those good doctors, they eat like I eat. So the hardest part of starting carnivore for so many people is just doing it and getting started. That is the hardest part uh, for so many. Once you do it and get going, things get a little bit easier. But in order to get through that first stage and getting started, I would ask you to think about this. What were you doing that led you to this point that you're considering carnivore? That's what you should be scared of. You're scared of starting carnivore because you're like, this is so weird, this is so foreign, this goes against the grain. However, Look at what you were doing that led you to this point. And what if you don't start carnivore? What if you don't start eating a proper human diet? And the other thing I would advise you to do is this. Don't look at this like, I'm gonna just eat meat for the rest of my life. Look at this as an elimination diet. I am no longer gonna eat sugars and seed oils and toxins and ingredients I can't recognize or pronounce, glyphosate and pesticides and forever chemicals. It's insanity. 
Just tell yourself you're going to avoid eating that horrible chemical science experiment we call the standard American diet for 30 days. Actually, 60 days is better. You can do anything for 30 or 60 days. Tell yourself you're going to do an elimination diet. That's how you approach it. There's something very powerful and liberating about taking control of your life and being in total control because you're in a standard American brain fog if you're considering carnivore diet. And it's not until you're out of the fog that you can see the fog and realize how deep of the fog you were in. And you'll start having all of these amazing realizations. So that is stage one, step one of carnivore diet is deciding to do it. And that's most people are never gonna decide to do it. Most people are gonna live their entire lives never knowing what it's like to feel like a proper human. Fulfilling your potential as a human being. No longer in that brain fog and fatigue where you're just, you're just barely puttering along. All of a sudden you do carnivore and you're just flying along. And it seems amazing, it seems extraordinary. Everyone's like, look at that person on carnivore. You've, you've de-aged yourself 20 years. You have the energy of someone uh, half your age now. It's not true though. The truth is, you are just behaving at the level you should be. And the truth is, so much of what we've learned in this world is completely the opposite from reality. I mean, this stuff just blows my mind. I can't even wrap my brain around it. I used to think cancer, for example, was just a genetic thing and it was just a, a unfortunate luck for some people that they would get cancer and they'd suffer from cancer. And now I realize, no, it's just the foods we're eating. Uh, I've also realized that Humans, I think in the United States, the average life expectancy is 75 or 72. It's in the 70s and it's going down, which is just insane. For the first time in decades, it's going down. Humans should be living to be 120. But because we're choosing to eat these highly inflammatory foods, we're dying at seven, in our 70s instead of living into our hundreds. All humans should be living well into their hundreds. The only reason we're not is because we're poisoning ourselves with chronic inflammation, sugar, and seed oils. Those are my reasons why I do the carnivore diet. You need to find your why and you need, to, you need to get over your fear of the carnivore diet and fear is just lack of knowledge. And that's the beautiful thing. All of this knowledge is freely available online. Watch Dr. Chafee's videos, watch Dr. Tony Hampton, incredible, incredible people giving out free information. And what is their bias? What is their motivation? They see how powerful this is. They became doctors because they wanted to heal people and they're doing it through their words. It doesn't cost you a penny. So whatever you're scared of, do your research. That's how you get through stage one. Now stage two is the adaptation stage. This is when your body has to switch from burning that junk, sugar and carbohydrates to burning what your body was intended to burn, fat. Your body switches from burning sugar into ketosis. And that's an adaptation phase. Some people get the keto flu. Your body has to get rid of all these um, toxins. It can be very hard. You may end up with diarrhea for a couple of weeks. It can be very hard for people. I encourage you to drink a ton of water. I encourage you to get electrolytes, have electrolyte drop. They have element. There's all these, you can get them on Amazon. You put them in your water. You get your potassium and your magnesium and everything you need uh, to kind of get through that. Some people have no problem adapting other people's really struggle. Keep in mind, I'm 43. I ate horribly for 43 years. So of course, it's gonna be a little turmoil getting into uh, the proper state my body needs to get into. But drink plenty of water, eat plenty of fatty food, and during this stage two of carnivore, the adaptation stage, you may have cravings, you may have sugar cravings. You're a sugar addict. This is one of the things I wanted to update in this video is, I realize now I was addicted to sugar and I'm willing to admit that. And I'm willing to understand that you cannot moderate an addiction. Had I been addicted to cocaine my entire 43 years on this earth and then I was quitting cocaine, I would never go back and say, I'm gonna have a little cocaine now. Just like a recovering alcoholic would never go back and say, now I can moderate alcohol. That is something you need to understand. If you're watching this and you're considering doing the proper human diet, the carnivore diet, you are probably an addict. You're probably addicted to sugar and highly processed foods and you need to admit it, you need to understand it and you need to understand this if you take nothing else away from this video, you cannot moderate an addiction. When you get through that 30 days, 60 days and you lose your weight and someone tells you just go back to eating in moderation, be very careful. It's a slippery slope. So phase two of carnivore diet is adaptation phase. Drink lots of water, do your research. It's gonna to be tough. 
Just know this, just know this during stage two, it doesn't last forever. It isn't this hard forever. Once you get over the hump and your body starts burning the fat for fuel, those sugar cravings go away. The, uh, the diarrhea goes away, if you have it. Not everyone gets it. The, uh, the fatigue and the keto flu and stuff like that, it's just temporary. And then the beautiful thing happens, those sugar cravings go away forever and you just start thriving. That is stage two. Now stage three, stage three, uh, I don't know what I called this in my last video, but I'm gonna call it homeostasis. You're in ketosis now. And this is the most beautiful stage. I miss this stage. Anyone that's going into it or is experiencing or starting carnivore, look forward to stage three because it is a blessing I was so grateful and thankful for. You have fat reserves, likely. Some people don't, but a lot of people doing carnivore, they have fat reserves. You may not, so this may be very for some people, but your body's gonna burn those fat reserves. You don't need to eat as much food as a normal human that didn't have those fat reserves would. Your body will go into homeostasis and the sugar cravings go away and your body starts burning fat for fuel and the heart functions more efficiently while in ketosis. The brain functions more efficiently while in ketosis. And so during this stage three homeostasis, things are just so smooth. You'll forget to eat. I used to forget to eat. I'd be like, oh my goodness, I didn't even eat anything today. Your, your body starts going into autophagy and your cells, they start to flush out. Um, there's so many benefits to autophagy and eating less and, and burning that fat for fuel. You're gonna, your aches and pains are gonna start to go away. Your inflammation, inflammation starts, sometimes inflammation goes away in, in stage two, but your inflammation will start to go away in stage three. Inflammation, everybody watching this in the world should be terrified and worried about poor metabolic health and inflammation, and nobody is. Everyone's worried about heart disease. When that inflammation starts to go away, so many things can happen. I had the inflammation in my lower back, I thought I had an injury in my lower back. I thought I had a slip disc or something. I thought I injured myself in high school. I thought this is the way it's always gonna be. I never even knew it would go away. And a couple weeks into carnivore, my lower back pain went away forever that I had since high school. I, I, Jen would rub it for me every night, get, get massages and the pain would never go away. Just inflammation. My snoring stopped, why? Because a lot of people snore from inflammation. The tongue, the airway gets inflamed. People's vision, this is just incredible. It sounds too good to be true, but it's not. And you can go, you don't take my word for it. There's all of these stories all over the internet. My buddy Dave Mack, he interviews so many carnivores. My buddy JT Poco Moonshine family, uh, chatting with carnivores. Adam, carnivore today. So many interviews with carnivores that can back all of this up. Vision starts improving, why? It makes sense, inflammation. You have inflammation, the back of your eyes gets inflamed. People have floaters, Those, the floaters go away. Dr. Jordan Peterson talked about this. Dr. Jordan Peterson stopped snoring the first week on carnivore. So when you're in this uh, phase three, stage three of carnivore homeostasis, it's smooth sailing. It, it's just a blessing. The sleep is incredible. And, and so many things are happening in your body while you're getting into this ketosis and you're, you're performing in ketosis. You start eating that fatty meat and your hormones start to balance. Insulin regulates, your hormones start to balance. You don't have these yo-yos anymore and it's so refreshing, it's so beautiful. On the standard American diet, you'd eat breakfast because breakfast is the most important meal of the day, which is utter BS. Two hours later, you're hungry again. Two hours later, you're hungry again. That goes away. In stage three, it's just awesome. You eat and you gotta remind yourself to eat later. A switch goes off in stage three as well. Maybe a little bit later for some people, but it happened for me in stage three. And that switch is, I'm no longer eating food for entertainment. Why would I eat food for entertainment? What do people do for entertainment when they're ingesting a substance? I could think of a few, uh, alcohol, drugs. Why do people take drugs? Because it makes their body feel good. Well, your body's not intended to feel good off of drugs. Your body's not intended to feel good off of food. When that switch changed to, I'm just eating for sustenance. Yes, I love a great ribeye, um, but it's an appreciation. The other thing that happens during stage three, and I'm sorry, I could go on forever about stage three, is um, your body will start talking to you more. When you don't have, when you're not eating every two hours with your insulin going up and down like this, you can hear your body, you eat a big fatty ribeye, your body's almost like, yes, thank you, that's what I needed, give me more of that. The amount of salt you put on your food, your body will actually start telling you these things and you can hear these signals better. Stage three is absolutely incredible. How long will it last? 
I don't know how to answer that. It depends on how much weight you have to lose if you're doing carnivore for weight loss. Some people aren't doing it for weight loss. Some people are doing carnivore for weight gain. So there's, we should actually do a different stages if you're doing this for weight loss or weight gain. I'm mostly speaking about weight loss in this one. So stage three is incredible. It's different for everyone. Now stage four, I talked about in my last video. Stage four is the, yes, I hit my goal, but what, what the heck is going on right now? When I hit stage four, it really hit me hard and I wasn't expecting it. I never heard any of the good doctors talk about this. What happened is I got down to my, my goal weight. I lost most of my body fat and a trigger or a switch or something happens in the body where your body's like, uh-oh, I don't have that body fat to burn before. Like in stage three, I was burning the fat from the steak I was eating, but I was also burning the fat on my body. And when the body fat reserves get depleted and they're down pretty low when you're kind of getting to your goal weight, your body goes, uh-oh, and it starts going crazy. And this happened for me and a ton of my carnivore friends. I talked to so many individuals about this phenomenon that is stage four of carnivore, and that is you're, you've burnt your body fat and you need to start consuming more fat to give your body the energy it needs. You get ravenously hungry in stage four. The good news is um, it doesn't last forever. I was worried like, is this gonna be the rest of my life now? I gotta just eat an incredible, like way more steak and food and fat and ground beef and patties and butter. I gotta keep adding more and more butter. Like I can't, I can't get full. It lasted two or three weeks for me, maybe a little bit longer. And then it started eatering up, teetering out a little bit. Now I still have to eat more that I'm in stage five that I did in stage four because I don't have as much body fat reserves. There's been people that have fasted. I think there was a guy who recorded fasting for like a year. I think he was like four or 500 pounds or something like that. It's amazing how long the body can go on your fat reserves that you have. But when those go away, a switch goes off in your, in your body and you're, you start getting hungrier. That was something I never expected. So I like to warn people about that. Now, stage five of carnivore is what I'm in right now. I'm over a year on carnivore now, and I've been in stage five for a pretty long time, many months now. Stage five is after you've reached your goal weight, you get through that crazy hunger, and now you are in the M mode, which is maintenance, maintaining, which is so important and so many people screw up. And I get passionate and fired up about this. This is why I get mad when uh, people tell me, right over there behind me, we had a big family reunion get together, and people are like, why can't you just eat in moderation? And it drives me nuts for the reason I mentioned earlier. You can't do the standard American diet. You can't do highly processed foods. You can't do sugar. You can't do an addiction in moderation. And the truth of the matter is, most people watching this right now doing the standard American diet are addicted. I caution you very much. When you get down to your goal weight, you're gonna have this thing. Oh, now I can just, I'm just gonna do better now. I'm gonna just have uh, fruits and vegetables and I'm gonna eat real clean, but I'm gonna eat in moderation. As Soon as your body tastes like a strawberry or a raspberry, carbohydrates convert in the body to sugar. When I hear carbohydrates, I just think sugar. If it's a strawberry or it's a piece of lettuce, uh, whatever it is, if there's carbohydrates in it, if it's a processed garbage, it converts in the body to sugar. You're gonna have this urge in stage five just to go back to eating in moderation and I highly caution you against that. So many people end up falling off. I did it on keto over and over again and I work so hard on keto and you're gonna work so hard on carnivore to, to hit your goal weight and to be a proper human again and you could throw all of that away by going back into moderation. I'm not telling you what to do, I'm just telling you for me and my own experience and I'm just warning other people like my former self that got down, I have a picture of myself and Jen when we were, I wasn't, this, I wasn't at this weight. I was still heavier than this, but I lost a bunch of weight on keto years ago. We looked great, we were so happy. And I remember saying to Jen, never again am I gonna gain this weight back. Never, 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 never. Thank goodness I'm finally able to lose the weight. I still got another 25, 30 pounds to go, but I'm never gaining this weight back. Several months later, I gained all that weight back and then some more. And it was the most devastating, depressing thing of my life. And then of course the depression and anxiety that I suffered my whole life came back worse uh, because my hormones were out of whack, because my brain was inflamed again, and because I just felt like crap and like a failure for doing this again. Stage five is maintenance mode. I'm, I'm killing it in maintenance mode. I love it. I have, because I understand what is going on in the world, 
And I understand that meat is the most nutrient dense food I can eat. Eggs are incredibly nutrient dense and they're so good for you. And I have made the decision in my brain, I'm no longer eating for entertainment. I'm eating for sustenance. I'm so thankful, grateful, and blessed every time I eat a big fatty ribeye steak. I look forward to it, but it's an appreciation. It's not an addiction. I'm doing it for um, sustenance, not doing it for entertainment. And I know I can maintain it because I've, 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 I've been in this stage five now for probably maybe six months, maybe five or six months. I'm pretty bad with dates, but I got down to my goal weight many months ago, maybe five months ago. I don't know. I, I'm, I will have no problem maintaining this for the rest of my life. What I've realized too that's really helped me with this is, what am I going to go back to? Am I going to go back to the grocery store and buy a salad, crunchy, water with glyphosate all over it. The system is so screwed up. I will end this five stages with this rant and this why for you if you're considering this and my long-term why. My why for doing carnivore was lifelong depression and anxiety. It was ruining my life and ruining the life of my children and my kids. I was 100 pounds heavier than I should have been at my heaviest. Uh, back pains, IBS, arthritis, sleep apnea, snoring, depression. All of those things were my immediate whys. Now I have a long-term why, and you need to think about your long-term why if you're heading into stage five and maintenance mode. Why do I want to keep doing this now? I lost all the weight. Why don't I just go back? Humans should be living to be 120. We're dying in our 70s. Dementia, Alzheimer's should be non-existent. They're from the foods we're eating. These rates of cancer going through the roof and these 50 year olds getting cancer and 40 year olds getting cancer. It shouldn't be happening. It is from chronic inflammation from the foods we're eating. And now you might say, well, just don't eat those foods. Almost all of the foods that you can get from the grocery store, including and getting even worse, vegetables and fruits. I believe they're tainted, they're toxic. They're not what they used to be. People are like, what about fruit? It's so good for you. Fruit has been modified so many times, it's like a piece of candy. Carbohydrates, candy, I eat a big apple right now. Two hours later, I got the sugar fix, I'm shaking, I got inflammation, and I'm hungry for more food. It's feeding that addiction. That's one reason. The other reason is that apple is full of pesticides. People are like, I rinsed it off over water. It's permeated into the vegetable. We're eating pesticides and people say, well, it's the, it's the dosage that matters in terms of poisoning. I don't want any poison. I don't want a little bit of pesticides and death inside of my body. Then you got glyphosate, then you got forever chemicals. Now these apples have a peel wrapped around it, this coating so that it doesn't oxidize. It is Franken food. It, the, an apple, even an orange, an orange of say 50 years ago was so much more nutrient dense than an orange you could get now, even if you could get the orange with no pesticides, glyphosate, or forever chemicals in it. Because the soil was so much dense and rich with nutrients and minerals. And we have destroyed the soil of the world with glyphosate and with chemicals and without doing crop rotation and regenerative farming. Fruit of today is a joke. It is basically like candy. And vegetables, it's the same argument. They're full of pesticides. The amount of calories and energy I would get from eating a salad wouldn't even um, necessitate the amount of energy my stomach needs to process that salad. The, the digestive system requires a lot of energy to process that roughage filled with pesticides and glyphosate. What do I get out of a salad? 14 calories? Oh, I'll pour some seed oil dressing all over it. That's going to cause inflammation too. Our food system is so messed up. Whether you agree with carnivore eating meat, this, that, or the other thing, what I can tell you is this. Me eating carnivore diet, eggs, beef, beef, butter, bacon, eggs, is the cleanest we can eat in the society and the state that we're living in right now. It's the cleanest you can eat. You're gonna go eat vegetables, you're gonna get glyphosate, you're gonna get pesticides, you're gonna get carbs, you're gonna go eat fruit, you're gonna get sugar, you're gonna get inflammation, you're gonna be hungry later, you're gonna get pesticides. I mean, the whole world is eating this plant-based diet and everyone is suffering. I find it just so crazy when people say to me, that's dangerous what you're doing. You're going to clog your arteries. You're going to be sick. I'm like, look at yourself. Look at the world. I am healthier than the majority of humanity. I'm, I could get up and run a marathon right now. I'm healthier than I've ever been my entire life. Why are you scared what I'm doing? I have lost so many loved ones over the course of my life to heart disease, heart attacks, strokes, 
cancer. None of them were eating like me. They were eating the standard American diet, the crap you get in the grocery store. So that is stage, that is stage five for me is maintenance. You gotta ask yourself why. Why are you gonna maintain this? I'm gonna live to be into my hundreds and I'm not gonna just live. This is what people in their, in their 60s are doing right now. They're, they're, they're bent over with arthritis and inflammation because their body's fully inflamed from their foods they're eating. That's not gonna be me. I'm going to live into the old age, but I'm going to really live. I'm not going to just get by with a cane and a mobility scooter suffering with aches and pains and ailments and issues. And all of humanity could be doing that. That's one of the most crazy things I've realized doing this carnivore diet. We're dying in our 70s and we don't have to. Children are suffering. ADHD, learning disorders, teenagers with depression, anxiety, obesity, type 2 diabetes in younger and younger kids. It's insanity. It's absolute insanity and it has to stop. That's why I'm so passionate about this documentary. Um, that's why I'm so passionate about carnivore. I get so many comments. I've had 75,000 comments on my carnivore videos. So much transformation. It's absolutely incredible, but it shouldn't be. When you just stop poisoning yourself, it's amazing what's happening and the majority of humanity is just poisoning themselves. So those are the five stages of carnivore updated from the previous version I did with some other thoughts and some other things to think about. I'll, I'll recap here. One cut, no edits. The first stage is making the hardest decision of your life to do carnivore. Overcome your fear by doing the research. Tell yourself you're doing an elimination diet. Stage two is adaptation. You may have the keto flu. Get your electrolytes, drink plenty of water, and eat fatty meat. And if you get those sugar cravings, bacon helps a whole hell of a lot for so many people. If you, if you don't do pork, fatty ribeyes, fatty meat. That'll get over those sugar cravings. Stage three, homeostasis. You're just in the flow and you're starting to see all of these health benefits and your body's in ketosis, the proper fuel it was intended to. You start having all of these realizations. You can, um, your energy is through the roof. Your heart is more efficient. Your brain is more efficient. The brain fog goes away. The inflammation goes away. Stage three is amazing. Stage four, oh my goodness, I'm so hungry. What happened? I got down to my goal weight. Yes, so you're so happy you got down to your goal weight, but you're wondering and you're worrying if you're gonna have to eat this much food forever. It starts to level off. You'll be just fine. Stage five is the hardest stage for a lot of people and that is maintenance mode. A lot of people fall into the moderation instead and then they go back and they gain all of that weight back. Shout out Laura Spath. She's been maintaining on carnivore diet. She's got some amazing YouTube videos. Shout out my buddy Dante Ferrigno from Ferrigno Freedom. He's been maintaining for a long time and he's just killing it. He's figured out how to do it. It's not that hard. You just keep doing what you're doing. Um, I'm going to be filming Mr. Ferrigno, Dante from Ferrigno Freedom for the documentary Healing Humanity down at uh, Hack Your Health. I'm really looking forward to that. So if you're interested in learning more about our documentary, it's completely crowdfunded. We've already filmed 700 pound Bill Knott out in Alaska, trapped in his house for four years. We're gonna go out there and film him again when he walks outside for the first time in four years. Thanks to the proper human diet, it's changed his life forever. We filmed Maggie, an 82 year old proper human, been doing this for 60 years. We're filming Jeff DeProsperous. He's on a journey to be cancer free and he's the energizer bunny going through stage four cancer, going through chemotherapy and doing, he just, he's, he's surpassed 40 rounds of doing five day fasts. And he would put anyone watching this under the table, his energy. He's the energizer bunny. It's absolutely incredible. We're going to get the stories of these really important stories of real people doing a proper human diet over the course of a year through this documentary. If you're interested in donating, please visit donate.healinghumanity.movie. Donate.healinghumanity.movie. Every penny from selling the shirts, our Redmond salt shakers, if you donate, or more importantly, if you become a member of my channel, every penny goes towards the documentary. We're not some biased documentary you see nowadays that's sponsored by a pharmaceutical company or a company trying to sell you fake meat. We're completely crowdfunded at this point. I'm very proud of that fact. And we do members only videos every Thursday at 3 p.m. We do members only behind the scenes. You can become a member for three bucks. You just click the little join button. It works best on desktop right below each one of my videos. We've got compassionate carnivore shirts, healing humanity shirts, and so much more available as well. 
and sign up for our newsletter. It's completely free. Link for that in the description below. Thank you so much. I'm so thankful, grateful, blessed for all of you. We did that one cut, no edit, five stages of carnivore revisited. I hope that helps you out and thank you so much for all of your support. Beep.